In the creep feed process, the idle time, stopping the wheel and tail reversal, gets reduced since the grinding operation is completed in one pass. The cutting forces and consequently the power requirement increases in the case of creep feed grinding. It is necessary to continuously dress the grinding wheel to reduce the wheel dullness for efficient operation. Soft and open wheels are used to take care of the wheel dressing and accommodate large volume of chips generated in the process. Now, next topic is wheel defects. Major and inevitable defects in grinding are glazing of grinding wheels. After the continuous use of grinding wheel becomes dull or glazed. Glazing of the wheel is a condition in which the face or cutting edge acquires a glass-like appearance. That is, the cutting points of the abrasives have become dull and worn down to bond. Glazing makes the grinding face of the wheel smoother and that stops the process of grinding. Sometimes, grinding wheel is left loaded. In this situation, its cutting face is found being adhering with chips of metal. The opening and pores of the wheel face are found filled with workpiece material particles, preventing the grinding action. Loading takes place while grinding workpiece of softer material. Next topic, wheel dressing and truing. Truing is the act of regenerating the required geometry on the grinding wheel when it becomes worn and break away at different points. No matter how precisely manufactured, once a grinding wheel is mounted on a spindle, there will be some eccentricity. Even if it's less than 0.001 inch, it is going to affect the final size and finish of the workpiece. So, to produce high quality work, the wheel must be treated. Conventional grinding wheels are easily treated with a diamond cutter that is harder than the wheel matrix. Therefore, truing produces the macro geometry of the grinding wheel. Truing makes the wheel true and concentric with the bore. Truing is also required on a new conventional wheel to ensure concentricity with a specific mounting system. In practice, the effective macro geometry of a grinding wheel of, is of vital importance and accuracy of the finished workpiece is directly related to effective wheel geometry. Next one, dressing. Truing creates a smooth surface on the wheel periphery and with no exposed grid the wheel on cut. Dressing sharpens the wheel by removing bond material and fracturing the super abrasive grid to expose fresh edges. So, racing always follows string. Racing cleans and restores a glazed and loaded grinding wheel by cutting the surface back to its original sharpness. Diamond racing, a grinding wheel removes full tool grains, swerf and excess bonding material, exposing sharp new cutting particles. Truing and dressing are commonly combined into one operation for conventional abrasive grinding wheels, but are usually two distinctly separate operations for super abrasive wheel. And this is the last slide of this video. There are some figures. Look here, diamond truing tube. After truing, it looks like this. The wheel face is, is smooth and closed. It's smooth and closed and the next one after dressing. It looks like this while face is open with the grids exposed ready for efficient grinding action. And see here after dressing super abrasive grid become like this bond supporting grid here is the tail and rotation direction is like that right to left path connecting the tails for coolant and chip.